Uh, my presentation today speaks about uh, the, the use case of natural language processing in Tally using a SPACI model in Python. So this helps in chartered accountant, non-chartered accountant to use any accounting uh, application, say for example, Tally, SAP or anything to pass any entry just by entering a transaction. My already, the older presentation of mine, which was being presented on use of inbuilt NLP in Tally, but now I've slightly advanced it to use a, a Python-based uh, open uh, spacey model for NLP, where you pass any transaction uh, into the system, the system will get converted into a financial entry and get passed into the system. Again, this time the model is very interesting, you know, uh, even some parameters, for example, date, any, any example, for example, the party name or any parameter is missing. So I'm going to use this uh, tally uh, edit log model where it captures as an exception into the system uh, with, uh, with the ledger is missing. For example, RAM limited ledger is missing. So that still the accounting application captures the record and you know, it accounts it as an exception. Later the user can go and uh, modify it and save the transaction. So this is what I, I'm been planning for this uh, today. So it helps in a lot of uh, use cases where uh, where, a, where a very basic, you know, a diary level entry on I paid uh, so and so, I received so and so, I sold so and so, I purchased. All of this very very basic plain vanilla natural English can be passed on to the model, which can be converted as a transaction into the accounting application. So for the example of an accounting app, uh, application today, I have chosen Tally. So I'm going to show you a small process flow on how this transaction is being entered into Tally. So for which I'm, I'm going to use a Python model here. So, and when I click, click, click this process dot bat file, so it will ask me to enter the transaction. So I have some transactions already noted here. So I'm going to say I spent uh, rupees uh, 5,000, uh, for office uh, from vendor uh, ABC ARC. So this is the plain vanilla English. I The older one has a limitation of, uh, you know, also I'll move on to my older model here in my GitHub page uh, under touch, uh, Tally Natural Language. So here I had to give a certain keywords, for example, create ledger, then only the ledger gets created. Uh, again, I have to, for creating a transaction, I have to give a certain specific keyword like make payment. However, in this new model, I need not to do any kind of uh, basic keyword like, you know, make payment, create item, create say SO, sales order. So I need not create ledger. I need not give any, I need not give any kind of a keyword like this. Rather, I can just write a plain vanilla English language. So I'm going to say, for example, I'm going to try to pull this entry so I spent rupees 5,000 on books for office on 29th April from ICA organization. So I'm going to go to the model and I'm going to post this entry. So the model gets posted into Tally. So let me open the Tally and show you the transactions here. And I know the ledger I'm not posted. So the ledger is not created here. Give me a moment. I just do the sale entry here. Yeah, it does not take into date, but but took the narration as made sales to Ram and it created this particular entry. So credit has properly given to sales, but debit does not know to whom it has to make. So I'm going to create a ledger Ram and post this entry. So maybe the date I had to give for the accounting period. Let me go to the go and give it to the current date that the tally is selected. So like this, a transaction from this uh, 
screen for any kind of transactions can be entered into the system versus the logic being uh, implemented by spacey it takes the data process the data it does it does the tagging of data and uh, it does the name entity recognition it recognizes the date i can go and give date it's like anything i i just gave 29th april year i have given 30th april year so i can go and give any kind of uh, data the spacey model in python uh, a good nlp model reads all this transaction text converts the data back into tally and posts the data back into tally so when you use a tally latest model, for example, uh, 4.1 or 4, it gives you these exceptions. So if the data is clear, then it gets posted. Otherwise, it throws you an exception. So with this, any kind of a live data, even a person does know tally or does not know tally, can able to use this data and ask the person, ask the as a guy who does not know accounting to post anything. And if any of the important parameters misses, the data gets you know filtered into the uh, exceptions part of it so this is the first part of presentation i want to make it for you in terms of this uh, nlp in terms of data entry again in terms of predictive financial modeling or you know in terms of any uh, financial reporting analysis i just want to show you one more development which i i personally made in tally so i just opened a tally for a period and uh, you know i'm going to have a single click export button here the moment I click a button and I need to give the tally port number, currently I'm running with 9004. So here, 95% of the data in tally got downloaded to an Excel sheet here in a span of, uh, say, 3.96 seconds. Every data. So which I'm, it is asking me, should I open the file? I'm going to say yes. So this particular file as data all the ledgers, master data, all the transactional data, the daybook data, and bill references data, opening, closing, GST data, stock movement data, uh, your e-wayable data, HSN code detail, cost center wise details. All of this data is available in a single click export. Maybe, maybe I have chosen a file, uh, you know, where uh, where I. I've taken a file where uh, the data might be smaller, but so it, it 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 is capable of exporting you know a thousand transaction in a span of uh, three seconds. So this file can be used in any of the generative AI models like uh, your GPT, ChatGPT, or any other model to do any financial analysis. Like my predecessor has shown me the list of. Uh, TDS items to be reconciled, uh, you know, GST transactions to be reconciled, uh, uh, or GST litigation to be a handle. This daybook can be. Tension uh, last two minutes left. Yeah, yeah. This data can be uh, uploaded to the any generative model for the purpose of analyzing or replying to any notices or any kind of external reconciliations like 26 years and any kind of waiting for the purpose it can do. Also, this kind of extraction of the daybook into so detail on which account is debited, which account is credited, including the, including the, including the, including the group names will help us in solving a lot of problems. Basically, you know, our, our entire audit process can be done at ETL for, for ending up with any report of class uh, 3CD reports or your GSC audit reports or anything can be, you know, done with this data. So, this is what my uh, uh, presentation is all about. So, and I'm ready for the questions uh, you asked. So it's not only a data processing model. Uh, it can also do a data exporting and it can do a, any kind of analysis using this NLP. So over to MC. And um, basically, I think uh, you showed us two parts. The first part was using Python. You showed us how to make an entry in tally. So one uh, thing I think, again, somebody must be quite conversant with Python to be able to do this. Is that a not, not necessary, not necessary. It is an open model available, anyone to free to download and use. Not necessarily, they require a programming language to configure it. So without knowing Python, we can also do this. Yeah, you can just do a double click on this uh, bat file uh, if you can able to allow. But uh, but I think if there's some glitch, something though a little bit of Python is essential. Otherwise, no, we no, it, 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 
Yes, we, we it is a model yeah. I just developed for the purpose of this session. Maybe another few more lines we can handle the exceptions. And very, very important, the tally version 4.0 handles the exception by itself. Even any any kind of any kind of uh, mandatory debits or credit is not available. The exceptions will be handled by the accounting application itself. And the second part which you showcased was probably extraction of data from tally by a single click, which is an option given in tally, and then use that data to do whatever processing we want. And for that, we can use our Power Query or AI tools or whatever is there. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, Rama, your presentation was good. Your interaction, integration of multiple tools is amazingly good. But there is a slight challenge, which I feel like maybe there for a chartered accountant. One has been rightly mentioned by Manu sir. A basic knowledge of not programming actually, but logic needs to be known how to integrate and how to check those tools. And second problem is this, these tools are continuously been upgrading. So you have to make sure that your single code will not be able to satisfy your needs maybe with the next versions and all. Fine. So every time you have to create these codes, which can be a challenging issue. So I think a code library needs to be built up, which uh, again has to be a part of it. So code libraries, which you can, you can execute code one, code two, code three as per your requirements. So okay. whenever, whenever a practical implementation of these tools has to be there, the development of code libraries and integration of code libraries, something which I feel like is very much important. Correct, sir. I, I can also suggest you, I know one more, uh, you know, idea coming to my mind. See, there are a lot of, uh, this libraries can be a open source libraries. So it can be imported into, and there are a lot of contributors, myself, Mr. Park. There are a lot of people, you know, working for this Python, chartered accountants, I personally know. Also, Python is part of the CA curriculum now. So maybe mm -hmm. from next year onwards, we can expect students to contribute on this open source libraries. Yeah, it this can be, needs to be done because universal. gradually you can create this code libraries. Actually, it's not a one person task. It's not a one day task also. True. Thank yeah. You. yeah. Thank you, Saurabh ji.